Good afternoon, Jess. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. So I'm speaking in this interview with Jessica Harkness, who's um, in year 13 this year and is on one of our head students, who's a student representative on the Board of Trustees, or as we like to call them, the Kaitiaki now. And I've got a few questions I'd like to ask Jessica. So first of all, share with us who's in your bubble and how you found lockdown. Um, so my bubble consists of my parents, my mum and dad, and me and my younger brother, Michael. And um, lockdown has been pretty good, actually. I thought it would be a little bit more difficult having all of us in such a small space, but we've handled it pretty well, I think. So what's been the highlight so far for you of being in this online school? Um, probably like the sense of freedom that I get with um, being at home, because I'm doing like working towards UE, but I can like wake up at 11 and still do my entire school day um, and finish instead of at three, like a bit later on, but still do the same amount of work. So I think that's probably my favorite part of it. Certainly some of the highlights for me have been some of the things that you have done, like the, um, yeah. the, the Anzac thing was amazing, really. So. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun to create those with the other leaders in the student council. And some of the things that they're doing in houses when you hear joint singing and things. So yeah, that's been fantastic. So what's worked well for you in this online environment? Um, I think the use of Zoom has worked really, really well. Um, being able to have that like with your teacher, the one-on-one -on -one or with the rest of the class, still being able to talk to them and ask them questions. Um, I've had a few classes um, using Zoom and I think it's really, really helpful. Um, being able to talk to teachers while not being with them in a classroom setting. It's just quite surprising that, isn't it? Because before five weeks ago, I'd never used Zoom. I think I'd used for things like this, I'd use Skype and um, Microsoft Teams, but now Zoom just seems the go-to, doesn't it? It seems to work really well. Yeah, it's been really good. And um, it's been quite cool and unique watching my teachers learning to use it while being on a call. Like it's, it's quite nice watching them. And so what's been the biggest challenge of doing this um, online? Probably like the lack of one-on-one -on -one with teachers. Like, and being able to Zoom is great and I really think it's awesome, but it's just not the same as being in a classroom with a teacher. And there's like certain little questions that you'd ask if you're in a classroom setting, but you feel aren't as big to ask across the email or something. So can you think of any ways we can support you better, given that, you know, some of the teachers you've got got a hundred plus students, so it's pretty hard for them to zoom into all of them and do that one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, definitely. Um, it took actually quite a lot of thinking, but I think maybe um, something to do with the credits. I know it's not really a school thing specifically, but um, maybe if you could add more credits or reduce them, it would make it a bit easier and less stressful for both teachers and students to be able to pass the year while they're in lockdown. And I know that something's going to come out from um, a shepherd uh, this week, I think, to all students and staff, because the NZQR, they are working on that and that no things have got to be different. So that's good news for that. Um, do you think this process of going through this is going to change education in the future? Um, I, I think it would be a really um, good way of working with students who are like quite prone to sickness during like normal circumstances throughout the year. Like I have a few friends that tend to miss quite a lot of school throughout the year normally because of sickness. And I think this could be a really good way to possibly um, connect with students who aren't at school as much as they usually are. And yet, yeah. So when we do get to go back to school, what are you most looking forward to? Um, I'd be lying if I didn't say it was to see my friends. Yeah. But Definitely excited to get like back on track and seeing my teachers and being able to make sure I'm on track to getting UE and going to get it next year. And for you personally, what's going to be your number one thing you go and do when you get out of lockdown? Well, I'm going to go see my best friend, um, Bethany, because it was her birthday a few weeks ago. And um, I really want to be able to like spend a day with her and make up for not being able to spend it properly. So have you still been working during the lockdown? Because you're essential. I, um, yes, so 
I work at McDonald's, so we just were started up yesterday. And so I worked yesterday and I'm working today. So fantastic. Well, thank you very much for joining me in this COVID interview. As you know, Jess, my challenge to you now is to choose somebody else that you can speak to in the interview. So it yep. might be your friend, Bethany, you never know, but it's up to you. I, I could be a staff member, could even be mum. I'll let you choose that, but thanks for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you for having me.